Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today, and I hope that you'll share this information out on your social media. Take time right now to broadcast it out. I know that it will help you have a clearer understanding of what's taking place today because the Bible is always true. And when we refer to the Word of God in Bible prophecy, we have an understanding that what God has done and fulfilled 100% in times past will take place 100% according to the Word of God into the future. And one of the signs of the times that is around us and upon us right now is from this particular article, Global Tech Outages Hits Airlines, Banks, Healthcare, and Public Transit. As I speak, as I'm recording this right now, they're still in the throes of trying to get the systems back online after a worldwide uh, technical problem that has taken place that has affected so many different agencies and continues to, especially in the airline industry. So this particular article from this past Friday, and you uh, saw what was taking place perhaps, but a defective update from the United States cybersecurity software company CrowdStrike crashed the Microsoft Windows systems um, around the globe this past Friday. The technological outage disrupted the operations across the industry, such as banks, hospitals, and even 911 call centers. It grounded flights. It hampered the public transportation systems. Uh, even though they said that there was a fix in the process and they were trying to restore the, most of the systems uh, back to normal, that is still uh, having a, a reverberation around the globe for that matter. And as a result of that, just informationally for you, CrowdStrike is um, apologized for the disruption. Uh, the owner and CEO said that. He also went on to say that uh, he warned in this statement, quote, we know that adversaries and bad actors will try to exploit events like this. I encourage everyone to remain vigilant and ensure that you're engaging with official CrowdStrike representatives. With more than 5,000 uh, airlines that have been affected and flights that have been canceled, uh, some the U.S. border crossing was impacted by this outage. This United States stock market was impacted by this. Krispy Kreme was giving away free donuts. Where was I when that was happening? Some Starbucks locations were accepting only cash. All the way to the Dubai International Airport was having trouble. In Hong Kong, their international airport there. The Portland, uh, Oregon uh, mayor issued an emergency declaration because of this technological uh, outage that took place. So what caused the issue, according to this article, the Falcon sensor software caused the Microsoft Windows to crash, display a blue screen known informally as the blue screen of death. That's what it was called. He goes on to say, the CEO does, there was an issue with the Falcon content update for Windows hosts, but customers remained fully protected. He also reiterated this past Friday's outage was not a security or a cyber event. Well, with that, it makes no difference because it's affected the public transportation. It's affected uh, schools across the United States, around the world with IT issues. Uh, the 911 call centers, as I mentioned, uh, were disrupted. Hospitals canceled their non-emergency surgeries and services taking place. The outages were uh, certainly involved in infrastructure across the United States uh, issues, internet uh, infrastructure. And uh, the rippling effect has gone far and wide. Does the Bible say anything about technological issues or tech advancement in the last days? Well, the Bible is very, very clear. It most certainly does. You can find uh, references that would describe a nuclear blast and nuclear activity uh, in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Revelation 6, Revelation 8, Revelation 16, and other passages of Scripture that deal with nuclear weapons even. Uh, the description of that helps us uh, in the Word of God to really define a nuclear uh, happening. Uh, satellite transmissions like uh, television and, and all kinds of uh, technological advancements, even in Revelation chapter number 11, 3 through 12, and other passages of Scripture. You can see in Revelation 13 that describes the system of the Antichrist coming online and the AI artificial intelligence and robotics that are found in that particular description as an image will rise up and all the world 
will wander after the beast. In fact, the Bible says there in Revelation 13 that the false prophet will cause the image to speak and people will be mesmerized to the degree that they will worship and uh, adore the beast, bow down and worship the beast. It also says in Revelation 13 that you can look for uh, computer and laser technology that's described in verses 16 through 18. And then in Daniel chapter number 12, can you imagine in the Old Testament describing the high-speed transportation that would take place? It does in Daniel 12 and verse number four. Now, what is this all about? What's happening? Are you calling this some kind of uh, antichrist setup? Well, I'll say this. This coming antichrist system is one that uh, you're seeing developed right now at a rapid rate. There is no doubt that the antichrist will use the systems that are we are seeing evolve, AI and others, uh, to deceive the people worldwide. And it's not a far stretch to be able to say, well, this is only located, as some the, uh, theologians have said, only located in the Middle East or only located in this particular area. We see this particular uh, technological outage that has affected the globe. People trying to get on planes that uh, and get their luggage that are still, as I speak today, stuck at airports, unable to reach their destinations. This involves also the loss of personal privacy. You can know that uh, in the days that are ahead, more and more of that as well uh, is going to erode. Just before I stepped into the studio to uh, make this particular uh, Prophecy Files briefing, I've been informed that uh, in an investigation concerning the uh, assassin that attempted the assassination upon the former President Trump, um, actually was involved with gaming systems. They have seized those gaming systems and they have the ability because gaming systems actually uh, hold all of the data ab about an individual. Everything that there is, everything they've done, every interaction, there is no dumping of that, it's all there. So we're looking at the loss of personal privacy through the technological advances, and the problem will be, in the time that we're in right now, is that we'll be, it is so embraced by people, uh, your very phone in your hand, all of these kind of things, technological advances, are all embraced to such a degree that to take them away or an outage like we have just seen is crippling for our society. In fact, it will make people go mad in the days that are ahead because they have relied on technological uh, advances in their homes, in their personal lives. It will be a hard break for people, as you've seen in the past few days with this outage, for people to make. It is a difficulty uh, for most people to function in daily life without some form of technological advance. Here's what you need to know. The Antichrist and the system of the Antichrist is one that will use all of these tools. And while we're saying, I'm not saying that the technological advances are necessarily bad. We understand that they can be used for very good. Uh, they can help our lives to function better. There's no doubt about it. But those advances in the hands of an evil dictator and an evil individual like the Antichrist coming will be one that will control the entirety of the globe. And the Bible says he will cause all small and great, free and bond, rich and poor, to take a mark to identify themselves, to be aligned and pledge their allegiance to the Antichrist. Here's what the Bible says as we close out today from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse number 6 and 8. It says this, and now we know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. In other words, it is the power of the Holy Spirit through the church that's holding back evil in the time that we're in right now. Here's the rest of it. For the mystery of iniquity or lawlessness doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, that's the church, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the brightness of uh, and the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy him with the brightness of his coming. I want to read it in a different translation. This is from the NIV. Listen to the same verse of scripture in the NIV. And now you know what is holding him back so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds back will continue to do so until he's taken out of the way. And then the lawless one, that's the title of the Antichrist, will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the splendor of his coming. 
the coming of the lawless one, verse 9, will be in accordance with the work of Satan. Now watch this. Displayed in all kinds of counterfeit miracles, signs, and wonders, and in every sort, verse 10, of evil that deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth, that it's the word of God, and so be saved. Listen now, for this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie, and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth, but have delighted in wickedness. My friends, I don't know of a better passage of Scripture to describe the time we're living in right now. When lying is taking place on such a massive degree and deception and withholding information, all kinds of things that are taking place in our world. That's why you must know the Word of God. That's why you've got to understand what's taking place. That's why you need the knowledge, the wisdom of God, and the understanding of the Word of God to discern what is right, what is wrong, what is truth, and what is evil. And I can tell you, while many people want to gray the area, you need to know that there is an absolute truth, and it is found in God's Word. He is truth, the Bible says. I encourage you to share this out to other people because this information is valuable in these days to be able to know just how close we are to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And until the next time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.